Salta Lamaki has started behind the plate yesterday. Ross gets the call here tonight. Very good defensive catcher, always has been a good thrower, and has had a knack for the big moment with the bat. He missed a couple of months this year with a concussion. And John Farrell saying they missed him a great deal while he was gone. He's kind of a, another coach on the bench when he is there, and certainly he's able to bring a lot of veteran experience to the plate as well. He'll save a pitching coach a few trips to the mound. Ross coming over from the Atlanta Braves, signing with the Red Sox. And that backup role has good numbers, limited numbers against David Price, but has a couple of home runs against him. Good high fastball hitter. Price at a two on count. And high in the air, left field to Jesus. At the track, going to play it off the wall. And David Ross into second with a double. Boy, just a towering fly ball that is an out in most ballparks. But here in Boston, it's an extra base hit. The Jesus backed off last night, or yesterday we saw Rodriguez get burned on the bounce. The Jesus was well off the, the fence, but it still almost got out over his head. And the space between them. De Jesus checking his card for positioning with Ellsbury at the plate. Lead off double for Boston. And Ellsbury, little flare, and that's going to fall fair. Base hit. Ross being waved home. He'll score. Ellsbury to second. And the throw is late. It's a double and an RBI. Three to one, Boston. One of the softest. RBI doubles you'll see. Ellsbury drives in a run, makes it three to one, and here is Victorino. Rays are heads up for a potential bunt here with Victorino, and he is a good bunter. And he does square, he pops it up. Foul. Loney can't get there. The Rays did a great job coming back to get a run back for David Price in the top of the second inning after he'd given up two in the bottom of the first. They kind of got some of the momentum back. And here come the Red Sox again. Bottom of the order, get a, they get a double, and now you're in the grinder with the top of their order that does so much damage. Well, almost hit that injured thumb. And if you're using that right thumb, you see the, the right thumb heavily bandaged. That's kind of the guide wire on a bunt. You wonder how that's affecting Victorino. Well, borderline bunting for a hit, trying to push it by the pitcher and get it closer to the second baseman. It's a tough read for Longoria at third. Speed at second. You see where Escobar is trying to hold him close. And Longoria's got to determine when the ball, if it is bunted, what. David Price is able to do. If he can cut it off, he'll hold his ground. If not, he's got to charge in and make the play. Longoria keeping a close eye on Ellsbury. And Victorino squares and takes a ball. It's going to be a very interesting postseason for Shane Victorino. Hand injuries and hitters don't go hand in hand, no pun intended, but it, it can be very troublesome for a hitter. He did have three hits yesterday, and I give him a lot of credit. But as the temperatures drop and it starts to get cooler and cooler, figure that thumb, it's certainly not going to get any better. Maybe taking every opportunity to drop a bunt down that he can. Ball and a strike on Victorino. And not bunting, swings away and shoves one through a base hit. Now hold Ellsbury. And Shane Victorino keeps on hitting despite the injury. That's well, a great shot, that total motion camera, to give you a look at. And you don't hit it on the sweet spot, how it can resonate through the hands. 
to state the obvious this is a huge situation for Tampa Bay. I mean for David Price you almost trade a run with a double play right here but that's about it Four is is your quota. That's that's what you can afford to give up. And Pedroia takes a strike. Pedroia swung at the first pitch his last time up and he drove in a run with a sacrifice fly. Three hits to start the inning. It's already Brian the third time in this series they've had three straight hits. And none of them have been hit all that hard. Justin Pedroia is unlike most modern day hitters who like to hit with a spread out stance or have a little toe tap and don't stride. This guy's got a long stride, which I think accentuates what we were talking about last night or yesterday, John, about his swing being so long and aggressive. It looks that way, I think, because of the long stride. Longoria cuts it off to second for one, and that's all they'll get. Victorino takes out Zobris. The run comes in to score. That'll be an RBI for Pedroia, and the Red Sox lead four to one. Two runs are in for Boston. Had a two run first. Ortiz with a solo homer in the first. Swinging away at the first pitch. Three hits in the inning for Boston. Raise with a shift on, looking for the ground ball to turn two on Ortiz. There's a strike. Price gets the call, and it's 0 and 2. David Price went the distance against the Rangers on Monday. Gave up just two runs in that game. In game one, 63, the tiebreaker. Struggled to start this one. Well, here is our avocado all stars moment. David Ortiz, first inning with a run in, launches one into the Red Sox bullpen. First home run for the Red Sox in this series. Price, much like he did at Texas, firm early with the fastballs, cutters, backdoor cutters, not as many changeups and curveballs. As the game went on, his touch got better, his delivery got better. So far here, again, firm early, throwing the ball 95 plus. But the Red Sox have been able to get to him with some, some hits. They're on his fastball. Ross hit a cutter, as you pointed out, but. It's like early in the count, they're sitting on the hard stuff. As the season has gone on, Price just kept getting stronger and stronger. He went on the disabled list with a triceps injury. He missed six weeks with that injury. Was giving up a ton of home runs before. 14 homers in his first 15 starts. But just two over his last 11. As Ortiz rips one. Lodi steps on the bag. And now a rundown as Pedroia tagged out. Got him on the back pocket. And a good quick tag to end the inning. Excellent defense there by the Rays to get him out of the frame. But two runs score, and it's 4-1 to one Boston.